That's right. It is the final word phone in with Madden Pards uh, after a s- sensational afternoon of football, uh, which all started earlier on with with Liverpool losing to uh, your former team, Pards Crystal Palace. Yeah, bit of history in that game. Yes, there is, isn't there? Yeah. Palace and uh, Liverpool always seem to throw up stuff. 9 0, we got beat. Yeah. And uh, there's the Brendan Rogers one. Uh, uh, Brendan, uh, and, and when they were 3 0, 3 1 up, was it? Yeah. Come back to 3 3, cost them the title. And then we went there, actually, my team went there on Gerard's last ever game, beat them 3 1. And then they've gone up there today, put in a sterling performance. Excellent first half. Had all their big guns back. Could have been 2 0 up. Yeah. And Liverpool. And Arsenal on Nervous Nelly Day. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're going to have our music theme today. It's all about pressure because the pressure is really uh, being felt across all the leagues. Because, of course, in the yeah. championship as well, in the EFL championship, nobody wants, to, nobody wants to win it. <laughs> they bottled it. Incredible. Oh, well, I beg your pardon? Who's they that? bottled it. Oh, is that Perry Gross? No, what, what, I didn't hear it, mate. Say it again. They it. bottled it. I think that is Perry Gross. A uh, former Arsenal man talking about Liverpool. The championship. Oh, talking about Liverpool. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. So oh dear. They bottled it, and I'm sure they we'll bottled be, it. I'm sure we'll be hearing that throughout the show today. But listen, I've not said it. It's not me saying anybody's bottled anything. But Perry Gross has said it. Oh, for I think Perry said it. You know, tongue in cheek, a little yeah. bit. Bless his little eyes. Quite going home now, getting this blade all the time. But, you by know, people like us that's, that's why rubbing he, his nose in it <laughs> that's why you don't say it on air because <laughs> it comes back to haunt you um, 03717 double four. Let's, let's look at the Arsenal game because you know as, as, as gutting as it must be for, for Arsenal right now Aston Villa three very important points in their race for Champions League football and I thought second half they were terrific well, as good a performance as uh, Villa would have put in, I should think, particularly second half, they 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 made Arsenal nervous because they put good pressure on them and they kept the ball. And there's nothing worse when you're chasing the game than the other team keeping the ball, being patient, being patient. And they worked two great situations uh, and got two and got two fine goals. I mean, the second goal from Ollie Watkins just sums that boy up. A terrific take and uh, 18 goals about a penalty or it might even be 19 I can't remember it's one of the two uh, he scored them that's what he's got this year and he showed all that class in that finish for Arsenal it was a it was a game that uh, that really really is going to hurt because not only um, obviously in the league title race but in terms of a performance mm. you know there's a few people that, that, that really didn't play well today in that team that would be a worry and they've got a massive game on Wednesday, of course, going to Munich. It's a big week for them, isn't it? Uh, got a message here from Paul, the Manchester City fan. Thank you, Paul, for getting involved on eight ten eighty nine. Well, well, well. That's Liverpool out. No surprise there. The usual wobbles. And Arsenal, don't look behind because Pep's machine is breathing down your neck and it's not going to be stopped. Well, that's the thing with Man City. They don't lose many games. So they've got a two-point lead. Pep's got a nice glass of Rioja in his hand. He's had a bit of roast beef this afternoon. More than you believe. That's what he's saying. More than you believe. More than you believe. <laughs> Let's head over to Ben, who's an Arsenal fan. Uh, I'm sure he doesn't want to hear what Perry Gross said earlier. Uh, good evening, Ben. Good evening. Yeah, I don't mind what Perry said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, disappointing day. And um, disappointing performance, especially in the second half. Who, who for you, Ben, let, let, let Arsenal down today? I think uh, Zinchenko has a mistake in him every game. He does. Uh, Gabriel made a couple of mistakes. He's looked a little bit shaky at the back. Um, and he's looked. He's, do you know what? In fairness to Gabriel, he's looked so much better this season. I think. I thought always thought he was out of obviously him and Saliba. Saliba's for me miles ahead of him. But I thought he's been really good this season. But you, you mentioned it last couple of games. I've seen a couple of chinks in his armour. Yeah, and that seems to be there. I, I, I love Gabriel, and I think he's been amazing this season. But just the last couple of games, and it's maybe not entirely his fault. It, it, actually, you know, a couple of the mistakes have been Raya around him, or mm. maybe just the instability of, of having Zinchenko at left back. I'm not sure why Arteta changed the team today. Maybe it's just to rest players for Wednesday. But mm. we, I don't we think he'd like be we... resting anyone for Wednesday. I think this was a far more important game to to Arteta and the team. Um, the yeah. Shevchenko one was a strange one for me in that in that fixture. Um, Zinchenko, 
Jibchenko, sorry. And um, but you know, in terms of uh, the performance, it, it it just looked like he was. You know, sometimes when a team's so nervous, they look inhibited, don't they? Yeah. They look like they can't express themselves. It looks all looked false, and that's a, that's yeah. a worry. Yeah. Yeah, and I think if um, because we didn't score in the first half, because it looked like we controlled the first half. Yeah. But when we came out in that second half, nil nil, I did feel Aston Villa have the advantage, and if they can just cling on for five or ten minutes, they they took they completely controlled the the game at the Emirates, which we didn't expect. But fair play to Villa and uh, Emery. Obviously, we've we've seen him at the Emirates um, for a couple of years before Arteta. I think he's a great manager. Um, I don't think he got the chance that no, he deserved that. really at Arsenal. But yeah, fair play to Villa, and you know I think they really deserve that that fourth spot. Brilliant, great call from Benny Arsenal. Very. Uh... Very yeah. sportsmanlike there. Yeah, very logical in terms of, you know, the, the, the emotion that all those Arsenal fans are going to be having going home after that because, you know, with Liverpool losing, it was all set up, wasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And then after the first sort of 20 minutes, Arsenal looked like on fire, actually. There's some lovely moments down that right-hand side with Saka and Armagoy you know, all linking up. And it looked like it was going to, you know, it was going to be their day. But they let, they weathered that little storm villa and then second half, Emery got them in and said, you know, you you could control this game if you had a little bit more patience and that's what they showed they uh, they were terrific second part got some great messages as well to go through quickly uh, is it going to be the same old story tomorrow on TalkSport talking about teams that have lost Liverpool, Arsenal are they going to talk about Villa and Crystal Palace well this is what the final word phone is all about if you are a Villa fan a Crystal Palace fan or a neutral 03717 4 I want to hear people come on and give the plaudits de deserved to Unai Emery because he has taken six points away from Arsenal this season. And if they do not win the league, you could possibly say Aston Villa has stopped Arsenal from winning the league this season because six points... It's a lot. It's a you lot know, of points to drop. And it's not often that you, a top team would lose to another team twice. No. It's just unusual anyway. But, you know, him being that, obviously the ex-manager, he's got that extra motivation, extra kind of work ethic that you would have put in this week with your team. It just, it, you just do. I know that because I was obviously in that role a few times. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.